गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स होप ऑल ऑफ यू फाइन बेटा इन दिस लेक्चर आल्सो वी विल कंटिन्यू विद चैप्टर थर्टीन ऑफ योर बुक एंड नेम ऑफ दिस चैप्टर इज महात्मा गांधी एंड द नेशनलिस्ट मूवमेंट बेटा इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स वी डिस्कस अबाउट द सॉल्ट सत्याग्रह ऑफ नाइनटीन थर्टी एंड आफ्टर दैट महात्मा गांधी ही वॉज पुट इन टू जेल एंड इन नाइनटीन ही वॉज रिलीज फ्रॉम द जेल and from 1930 till 1942 during that time various various activities events took place in that there were uh, gandhi irvin pact there were the round table conferences but uh, in the round table conference also uh, they were not satisfied and no uh, specific decision was taken and in 1939 when the second world war started during that time mahatma gandhi and jawaharlal nehru both had been strongly critical of the hitler and the nazis so they promised congress support to the war if the british in return promise to grant india independence वंस दैट वॉर इज एंडेड इट मीन्स कि जो हमारे लीडर थे महात्मा गांधी और जवाहरलाल नेहरू दे डिमांडेड दैट इंडिया इंडियन कांग्रेस विल सपोर्ट ब्रिटेन इन द सेकेंड वर्ल्ड वॉर बट दे आर टू इन रिटर्न उनको प्रॉमिस करना पड़ेगा दैट वेन दिस वॉर विल बी एंडेड दे आर टू गिव इंडिपेंडेंस टू द कंट्री सो द टूडेज टॉपिक इज फर्दर दैट इज द क्विट इंडिया मूमेंट as we know that during that time uh one minister sir stafford cripps also visited india in 1942 but after the failure of the cripps mission mahatma gandhi decided to launch his third major movement against the british rule and this was the quit india campaign which began in august 1942 Although Gandhi ji was jailed at once, younger activists organized strikes and acts of sabotage all over the country. Particularly active in the underground resistance were socialist members of the Congress, such as Jay Prakash Narayan. Now, other socialist members they were very active during this campaign in several districts, such as Satara in the west. Madinipur in the east independent governments were proclaimed the british responded with much force yet it took more than a year to suppress the rebellion quit india was genuinely a mass movement bringing into its ambit hundreds of thousand of ordinary indians means jo hamara ye bharat chodo andolan tha or we can say the quit india movement thi beta it was a large scale movement it was a mass movement in which ordinary indians they participated it especially energized the young who in very large numbers left their colleges to go to jail However while the congress leaders languished in jail Jinnah and his colleagues in the Muslim League worked patiently at expanding their influence it was in these years that the league began to make a mark in the Punjab and Sindh provinces where it had previously had scarcely any present so during that time the Muslim League also became very prominent in the area of Punjab and Sindh in june 1944 with the end of the war inside gandhi ji was released from prison later that year he held a series of meetings with jinnah seeking to bridge the gap between the congress and the league beta as you know during that time that now there was a triangular movement it was between the congress muslim league and the british empire so that is why gandhi ji just wanted to bridge the gap between the congress and the muslim league in 
a labor government came to power in britain and committed itself to granting independence to india meanwhile back in india the viceroy lord wavell brought the congress and the league together for a series of talk early in 1946 fresh elections were held to the provincial legislature like those were held in 1937 the congress swept the general category but in the seats specifically reserved for muslim the league won an overwhelming majority the political polarization was complete a cabinet mission sent in the summer of 1946 failed to get the congress and the league to agree on a federal system that would keep india together while allowing the provinces a degree of autonomy means abhi kya tha beta they just want a federal system jisme kya tha ki jo hamara hindu dominated area hai or whether it is a muslim dominated area that they will they will have a type of autonomy wo independent hoge but they didn't agree about that after the talks broke down jinna called for a direct action day to press the league's demand for pakistan on the designated day 16th august 1946 bloody riots broke out in calcutta the violence spread in rural bengal then to bihar and then across the country to the united provinces and the punjab in some places muslim were the main sufferers in other places hindus it means one year before our independence this hindu muslim riots began all over the country in february 1947 wavell was replaced as viceroy by lord mountbatten as you know beta lord mountbatten he was the last viceroy of india mountbatten called one last round of talks but when these two proved inconclusive he announced that british india would be freed but also divided the formal transfer of power was fixed for 15th august when the day came it was celebrated with gusto in different parts of india in delhi there was prolonged applause when the president of the constituent assembly began the meeting by evoking the father the nation mohan das karamchand gandhi outside the assembly the crowds sh- shouted mahatma gandhi ki jai so that was the day of our independence so by the consistent efforts of mahatma gandhi at last india got independence now what happened after 15th august 1947 so the our next topic is related to that that is the last heroic days as it happened mahatma gandhi was not present at the festivities in the capital on 15th august 1947 he was in calcutta but he did not attend any function or hoist a flag there either gandhi ji marked the day with the 24 hour fast the freedom he had struggled so long for had come to an unacceptable price with the nation divided and hindus and muslim at each other's throats means the nation he wanted he dreamed that uh, now uh, the independent india was not like that through september and october writes his biographer dg tendulkar gandhi ji went round hospitals and refugee camps giving consolation to distressed people he appealed to the sikhs the hindus and the muslim to forget the past and not to dwell on their suffering but to extend the right hand of fellowship for each other and to determine to live in peace at the initiative of gandhi ji and nehru the congress now passed a resolution on the rights of minorities the party had never accepted the two nation theory forced against its will to accept partition it still believed that india is a land of many religions and many races and must remain so 
सो वट एवर बी द सिचुएशन इन पाकिस्तान इंडिया वुड बी अ डेमोक्रेटिक सेक्युलर स्टेट वेयर ऑल सिटीजन एन्जॉय फुल राइट्स एंड आर इक्वली एन टाइटल टू द प्रोटेक्शन ऑफ द स्टेट irrespective of the religion to which they belong as you know these are the basic guidelines of our, of our constitution and all these are mentioned in our preamble also that india is a secular country equality is uh, assigned to all we are enjoying our fundamental rights also so the congress wish to assure the minorities in india that it will continue to protect to the best of its ability their citizen rights against aggression do you know that is why uh, the religious minority was provided to so many religions and even many scholars have written of the months after independence as being gandhi ji's finest hour after working to bring peace to bengal gandhi ji now shifted to delhi from where he hoped to move on to the riot torn districts of punjab while in the capital his meetings were disrupted by refugees who objected to readings from the quran or shouted slogans asking why he did not speak of the suffering of those hindus and sikhs still living in pakistan in fact as dg tindulkar writes gandhi ji was equally concerned with the suffering of the minority community in pakistan he would have liked to be able to go to their succor but with what face could he now go there when he could not guarantee full redress to the muslims in delhi so this was the topic for today few topics are left from uh, this particular uh, topic also the last heroic days that we will discuss in tomorrow's lecture thank you and have a nice day